Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Border Gateway Protocol, otherwise known as BGP. We are going to take a look at the foundations of BGP and a lot of different topics. We're going to set up different BGP connections, we're going to set up external BGP, internal BGP, and we're going to take a look at some of the BGP attributes. BGP is run in between different autonomous systems. What we have is customer one, we're going to put in AS100 and the ISP, ISP R1, R2, and R3, those routers are going to be run in AS200. So usually you would not be running BGP if you were had just one connection out to your service provider, if you were just single home. But as we can see in this case, we have two different links are what's called dual home connection to our ISP network. So it gets a little more complicated when we have to set up BGP and prefer one path over another. That's when our complex route BGP route manipulation comes into effect and we have to do that. So BGP is very scalable and well of course it scales the internet so we have two connections from customer one we have we have a primary link which is going to simulate a T3 a 45 meg circuit and then we have another backup circuit we're going to use as, and that's going to be our 1.5 meg circuit which is going to be our T1 so So just to let you guys know, we have already set up all the IP addresses, the interfaces, the loopbacks, all that stuff in this lab. So let's go under Customer 1 and take a look at the basic configuration of BGP. We're going to type in the command from Global Configuration Mode, Router BGP, and then we're going to follow that up with the, if we type in a question mark, you're going to see it's going to be looking or asking us for an autonomous system number. So for customer one, we're going to put him in autonomous system 100. And this is going to start the BGP process on the router. So our next configuration under BGP is to put in our neighbor statements we have to peer to other routers to form neighbor adjacencies with them. So both sides have to be set up. They have to, so two neighbors have to peer to another. So it's not like an IGP where you can just specify a network statement and then it'll go out and form adjacencies automatically within BGP it has to explicitly be set up on both sides on both routers so we're gonna do we're gonna put in our peers so we're gonna peer to ISP R1 first we're gonna put in the neighbor statement to do this and then we're gonna put in the IP address of the far end connection which is ISP R1's link which is 130.0.11.2. If I do a question mark after that, we have a bunch of options that we can do under BGP, which makes it very scalable. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the command remote AS, and then we're going to be putting in the AS in which we are peering with ISP R1. So autonomous system for ISP R1 is 200 and this type of neighbor relationship that we are trying to form is an external BGP neighbor. An internal neighbor relationship within BGP or an IBGP connection would be the ISP. They are running IBGP internally between two routers within the same autonomous system number. That is a IBGP neighbor. So two routers peering to each other within the same autonomous system. 
However, this link is a external BGP peering. So the next thing we're going to do on customer one is we're going to type in our neighbor statement for our BGP peer ISP R2. So again, we're going to type in their far end IP address, which is the 12.2, and then we'll specify the remote AS of 200. Again, like I was telling you guys earlier, we use BGP to advertise our networks out to other autonomous systems. And those autonomous systems that we advertise to will advertise our networks out to, to other peers. So what we can see is that the internet, if it is running BGP, is made up of a lot of different autonomous system numbers and all these AS's share networks between each other. So now that we have our neighbor statements we have to tell BGP what networks we want to advertise to these neighbors. So to do that we're going to be using the network command but the network command is not like the network command in the IGP world. So where you set up a network under you know, OSPF and specify the subnet that will go out and form neighbor adjacencies with other routers. This network statement specifies under BGP specifies what subnets we want to advertise out and what networks we want to advertise out to our BGP neighbors. Again we're going to do the network command and then we're going to put in our network 130.0.1.0 which is our loopback1 interface and then we're also going to need the mask statement for our subnet mask on this network which is as we can see from the diagram a slash 24 and then we are also going to add in the loopback2 interface which is the 2 network on customer 1. You have a BGP topology table then you have also an IP routing table. So for in order for these networks to be advertised out to BGP neighbors we have to have a connection in our routing table that matches specifically this prefix in which we are specifying under 